Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to lock a Mustang tremolo. This is a really popular mod, especially with Nirvana fans, for um, hardtailing your tremolo to kind of get the maximum tuning stability that you can. I will say that this is not always a necessary mod. I'd say first, if you're having tuning issues, I would look at the nut and the overall setup of your guitar. You'd be surprised how often that tuning issues arise from nut slots not being cut properly and things like that. So even if you do hardtail your Mustang and your nut isn't properly cut, then you're still gonna have those same tuning issues. Hardtailing your Mustang is a really easy thing to do. All you're going to need is a few of these washers, or however many you need. I only use two most of the time. Some people like to use two per post, but you can decide for yourself. So the first thing to do is to unstring your guitar and make sure that there's no tension on the neck. Your next step obviously is to remove the bridge. Next remove the five screws on the vibrato plate and remove it all together. The next thing I like to do is remove the springs because I won't be needing them if the tremolo is hardtailed. Once you have the springs removed, just unscrew the posts from the cigar tube. Okay. So I'm going to be showing you two methods for locking the tremolo and I like the second method better but most people opt for the first method which is the Cobain kind of locking way. Usually the cigar tube is around like this but you flip it around and screw it back in place like this so that the strings can pass right through. To do this all you need to do is get one of your washers and your post, stick one of the washers onto the post like so. Put it back through the hole on the plate and screw it into the cigar tube. So it looks like this on the back and obviously you do the same with the other post. Um, doing that's okay, but I'll show you. Sitting on here, you may come into a problem where you don't get enough brake angle. So say if I just get one of the old strings I had on it before. You can string it right through, which is the advantage. But then you're going to come into problems with the bridge, potentially. You might not. It might work for you. If it works for you, go for it. Certainly not saying one way is better and what is different. I'm just saying what works for me usually. Is, is You'll notice that obviously this will be sitting a bit higher, but the brake angle that you're going to get is very shallow and that can cause problems with your overall setup. So, taking the bridge back off. The method that I like to do, which I find better for myself, is keeping the cigar tube around the correct way, but Um, but putting your washer in between the plate and the cigar tube, so like that. And what that's going to do is it's going to make sure you get the best brake angle you can get with a hardtail because you'll still be wrapping the strings around 
like you would usually and I'll show you how that turns out. So for this method all you have to do is put your post through the plate and put the washers on top instead of underneath. Tighten them up. And there you go, it's locked. It's not moving anywhere. Don't need the springs on it, as I said before. And you're still gonna get a good brake angle when you put the strings around it, around the cigar tube. So that's all you have to do. Now the the Brada unit is locked and it's a hardtail Mustang and so just put it all back together and string her up. Okay, and we're all done. That's now locked. As you can see, I've got a nice brake angle over the saddles of the bridge. Uh, none of the strings are actually touching the bridge behind the saddle, so that's really good too. You only want one point of contact between your tailpiece and the nut, and that's the top of your saddles. So that's perfect. And yeah, you, a lot of people might not like the look of the washers, and that's fair enough. If you can find a different kind of washer to use, by all means do it. All you need is something that can go between the cigar tube and the plate of the vibrato unit so you can lock the tremolo in place. So yeah, this method of locking the Mustang tremolo was shown to me by my first tech and I have to thank him for doing that because it's become my favorite method because obviously you get the better brake angle than you do by flipping that around. Again, if you want to flip the cigar tube around, by all means, do it. Um, and if you find that it works for your setup, then good. You'll do it that way. It's certainly easier when it comes to stringing your guitar if you just go straight through the bottom rather than having to wrap around. But um, yeah, I see more advantage in doing it the second way to maintain that good break angle for your overall setup. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. As usual, like, comment and subscribe and I'll be back with more videos soon.